I'm not one for conspiracy theories, apart from the one about Elvis being alive still and Paul McCartney died in 1966 and was replaced with a lookalike. That's fucking true. But those truths are for another day. I have been doing some serious research and have found something fucking groundbreaking, you guys. It is bigger than Burger King foot lettuce, you guys. I dropped out of uni just to pursue this topic and make this video. And as you can see from the title of this video, I will be showing you evidence that Beyonce is a communist. Now, before you say this is bullshit, stay for the hard fucking evidence. Now, let's begin with the proof. Let's look at one of her big hits, the song Irreplaceable. Uh, the lyrics are seemingly about flicking away that little shit that broke your heart. Mm-hmm. Wrong. Look at this. To the left, to the left. Wait a minute. As in left wing. As in communism. Here she is, brainwashing an entire audience on camera. It's your time. Now, if that's not enough, we move forward to her song Formation. And as I was listening, I realised something that's hidden in the song and uh, see if you can hear it. I'm so reckless when I rock my Givenchy dress. My Givenchy dress. Shit me dead. What a fucking straight up reference to Stalin. She's not even hiding it in this one. So let's move on to the next piece of the puzzle. Um, and this was just a simple Google search. Anybody can see this. It's in plain sight. All I did was type into the Google Beyonce. And here you can see oh, she only ever wears red. Now, why nobody has spoken about this really shocks me. This is some pure communist propaganda. The, the symbolism. Um, anyway, if you guys want to check that out on the Google, um, you know, that's, that's something you can do yourself. You don't need to be um, a top research journalist like me to, um, to do that for yourself. So go check that out, you guys. Google on the Google Beyonce. Now, moving on, I found this highly reputable source um, created by a guy called Pere Hilton. I think he's French. Um, he's some kind of political journalist and uh, I found this article called Beyond Asian and Jay-Z funded a communist oppressive regime with Cuba trip according to clueless Stacey Dash now I think the way that they've spelt Beyonce is obviously French um, from where he's from but this is just getting freaky you guys and let me tell you it gets worse before I show you the most fucking incriminating evidence yet, let's take a look at the trailer for her song, Who Run The World. Now this goes further than communism. I have chills thinking about it. This shows us that Beyonce is planning for world domination and will take it with brutal military force. Take a look. Fuck you guys, I, I don't even have to say anything. That gave me chills. I'm glad that I already live in a bunker that my uncle trapped me in six years ago because I will be protected when the takeover happens. All right, so lastly, I found this image in my uncle's photo album in the bunker and I, I can't believe it. I don't know if it's her, you guys, because this would mean, I can't even believe I'm saying it, this would mean time travel is possible and I know this all has to be linked to the Illuminati. It's all like pieces of the big puzzle. Um, here it is, you guys. Now, what we're looking at, that's Stalin. And in the background is a woman who looks just like Beyonce. I don't know how this is possible, you guys. I am like terrified right now. Um, but that's the last of the evidence. There you have it. 
um, my uncle's ringing the bell so my food will be here soon and it's been four days and I'm starving so um, I have to go but let me know if you guys have any more research to help me figure this shit out because I think I'm onto something um, you know fucking leave a comment or some shit alright I've got to go I'm coming